Good afternoon to the world. My name is Cameron. I'm playing Genshin Impact. Why am I hearing myself? Oh, because I have Google Chrome in the background. Excuse me. That's incorrect. <laughs> Let's get back to Genshin Impact while the game verifies its file integrity. How is everybody? I'm doing wonderful and I appreciate you for asking. No, you obviously didn't ask. I didn't see stuff in chat, but you know what? Maybe you were curious about it anyway. And if you were, I appreciate that. I'm curious. My camera's really... I was messing with my camera the other day. I'm gonna have to even that out a little bit. There we go. Turn the world upside down and all around. Let me bump a little bit. Go to a little bit of a bumpy ride over here while the game figures itself out. My weekend has been absolute. It's not even the weekend yet. So look at me. I'm already having such a good time. I have. To, I th think it's already a Sunday because naturally, if you're in the weekend and you're having a good time, the good times end at the end of the weekend. But it's just the beginning of the weekend. I've had a very, very eventful Thursday. It was wonderful. I actually had a really good friend of mine come up and visit us. Like, totally impromptu, just like that. Isn't that right, Pepper? Correct. Correct. The game has begun. It was wonderful. We had a little little cocktail night last night. Got a little bit of Domino's pizza. It was such a blast. I love that. I miss I miss hanging out with people. I miss having people around to uh, share my share my beautiful my beautiful cocktail uh, collection with. And it was wonderful. We are, actually got something right here. You must be thinking it's only it's only one o'clock. Why are you drinking so early? Don't worry. It's just Coke and grenadine. It's just in a champagne glass because I wanted to be fancy today. Yeah, I'm playing Genshin Impact. I played it also on Wednesday. I, I just wanted to play it again. I thought about playing Hades this morning. I pushed things back. I was like, you know what? I, I just doing something different. Doing or rather doing the same exact thing. I don't know. I almost feel bad doing things more than once in a week because I'm like, if I do it too much, like, am I am I just oversatisfying myself? Like, I, I don't know. Like, it's too much. I feel like it's too much. If I do the same thing multiple times in a week, it's like, it's saturating. It's saturating the other things that I could be doing. But then again, I think to myself, first of all, what a wonderful world. And then I also think to myself, I could do whatever I want. If I want to play Genshin Impact, I'll play Genshin Impact. And my goal for today is, it probably won't be for too long, but I want to do some boss stuff. I want to get some boss materials and some um, ascension stuff. That and also I'll do some of these other um, leeway missions. Uh, like whatever this is. 30,000 Mora? Sweet. I like that. That sounds beautiful. So let's go to wherever that's say to go. With the power of Noel leading the charge. And we shall continue. And hopefully find some bosses along the way. I know in particular... I want to be able to ascend these characters here. I have Noel, Beto, Zhangling, Sucrose, and I want to bring them up. I want to bring them up. <laughs> bon Giovanni to you, I think, I guess. Uh, uh, good afternoon to you. How are you? I hope you're wonderful. I'm pretty wonderful. I feel so good. By the way, Wink, that Founder's Badge looks great on you, if I may say so. It really slims out, really matches your eyes. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful. Thanks! I guess. I gotta head up towards that, uh, where's that, where's that quest marker again? Up on top of the cliff! Up on top of the cliff. So that's where we gotta go. Run, maid girl, run! Speaking of maids and other maid girls, if it's, it isn't already obvious, I really like playing board games. I like playing card games as well. And there is a wonderful board card tabletop game out there called Tanto Quare. Tanto spelled T A N T O. Quare spelled C-U-O-R-E. It's the maid game. If you're a fan of deck builder games, like uh, Dominion or Dominion, which is the only other deck builder game that I only just became aware of. Trains. Trains? Trains is another? What other Trains. deck building games are there? Other than Tanso Quare. There's really, there's no other. I don't remember what other ones there are. I know I've played more deck builder games before. Anyway, maid game, Tanso Quare. It's great. You, uh, this is gonna sound weird, right? The premise of the game is to have the most victory points as possible. No, that's not the weird part. The weird part is you start off the game with a couple of maids in your hands. They really don't do anything. You have the ability to send these maids 
to your private chambers by using actions that you have on a turn. And you can purchase more maids with the power of love. And you can have one love cards, two love cards, three love cards. It's the currency. The currency is love in this universe. Private chambers for your private chamber maids. Yes, you heard that right. And uh, depending on what maids, all the maids have different abilities and whatnot. You, when you purchase the maid, it becomes a part of your collection. When you get more love, it becomes a part of your collection. You can use it in your deck. You can send things out of your deck. Classic deck builder game. Classic deck builder game. Oh, another deck builder game. It's one of my favorites. It's called Star Realms. Holy sh! Wow, I can't believe I forgot about that. Star Realms is an awesome deck building game. I love that game so much. I think I that's probably my favorite deck building game if I had to think about it. Or there's probably another one that I'm also forgetting about that. But I also forget about. Is there a Marvel, Marvel superheroes deck building game? Really? Is that is that like? That's not that's not five minute Marvel. That's the only Marvel game that I oh technically five minute Marvel and villainous. I have villainous which has actually do we have the Marvel villain? We do have the Marvel villainous. We do because I remember a buddy of mine purchased that for Anna for whatever occasion it was. And that's good. I don't think we actually played that one. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Pog, my friends. Pog. Pog, Marvel, Marvel Villainous. Play the game, Marvel Villainous. But yeah, that's fun. Um, where do I need to go? I need to go up to the top. Defeat all opponents up at the top of the mountain. The top of the cliff. Not the bottom of the cliff. Silly. The top, top, top. The tippy, tippy, top. Huh! The tippy, 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 top. Tippy, tippy, top of the cliff, cliff. Tippy, tippy, top of the cliff, cliff. Yes. Anyway, made game. Made game fun. Made game very fun. There are, to my knowledge, two expansions for it, I think? We have the base game and the Winter Romance expansion, which not only has more maids, but butlers too. Now we've got people on both sides of the gender spectrum. It's great. We've got, let's see, what kind of maids do we have? We got Scrapper Maid, who's basically the one who she's got like this giant drill thing and she's so tiny like it's that it's like tiny tinkerer that tiny tinkerer motif i like that another character with that tiny tinkerer motif um oh tinker knight from uh shovel knight tiny tiny tinkerer tiny tinkerer motif i feel like i see it like 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 uh dwarves dwarves are often like the smiths tiny tiny tinker or like or like a uh, gnome or Goblin tinkerers. Tiny, small creatures. Tiny tinkerers. Oh, hey there, my friends. Oh, hello. How are you doing today? Oh, yes. I love to play. And by play, I mean take this sword, slam it into your guts, potentially bring it from one side to the other and leave a nice slice in between. Really depends on how rough you want to play. I'm down with being a little rough. There, I'm no, I'm no stranger to rough activities. Sword go. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Sword go. Swish, 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 swish. Let's get some fire in here. Let's get some swirl action. Let's get some swirl action. Let's go to the. Everything's on fire. Anna showed me a really funny shirt that she could buy at her PT the other day. And it was something like PT school is like doctor school or something. I, I'm yeah, not. PT. I'm not doing this. PT, physical therapy. Physical therapy school, like doctor's school. But you're on fire. The patient's on fire. Everything's on fire. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're a physical therapist and your patient is actually on fire, maybe, maybe you should grab a fire extinguisher or like a fire blanket, I guess. I don't, I don't know what the protocol is there. Um, if you are a licensed professional in the crowd, and someone is on fire. Um, what do I do? Asking for a friend. I need answers fast. Push him to the ground. Push the- and start rolling? Oh, you're right. They did teach me to stop, drop, and roll. Huh. Well, if anybody's on fire out there, um, stop, drop, and roll. Treasure map. Tre treasure map? Wow, that's a really cool looking treasure map. Bacon! Don't yes. just a couple slices. Just a couple slices? I will grab... Oh, I'm gonna get... A napkin. A napkin. That'd be perfect. My friend who popped over, the lovely Miss Pepper, Hi. is making some bacon. Oh, that's a beautiful treasure map. I can't see it. 
Follow the treasure map to find the treasure. All right. Paper towel! Thank you! That is perfect. Perfect, perfect. Nothing like the best part about waking up bacon on your sheet. Mm. Oh, it's the, it's the floppy bacon. Got a little searing on the side. I like that. It's my favorite kind of bacon. Honestly, if the bacon has anything burnt on it, it's my kind of bacon. I love burnt things. Something about the taste of things that are burnt. Like, I like. Which is good. Because Anne, sometimes Anna makes food. And sometimes, because Anna's not perfect, I'm not perfect, nobody's perfect. I gotta work it. This treasure map is empty. There's, a, there's no treasure map. There's nothing there. What's going on? It says follow the treasure map. Where, where does it go? What the hell? Wait, get Genshin Impact. Um. Anyway, burnt things taste wonderful to finish that bit. I'm genuinely confused. Maybe it's on my map somewhere. Oh, it's definitely over there. So I'm gonna head southwest. <laughs> southwest to that direction. Oh, it looks like there's a giant other mountain over there. No. Oh. I'm gonna get to that giant other mountain. With the power of flight. Well, now that we're in the air, let's think about all the other things that make us feel light and fluffy in life, like cake and puppies and feathers. I'd like to go back and say cake does not make me feel fluffy. Actually makes me feel fat, which for some people may be fluffy. Okay, add cake and other pastries back to the list of things that make us feel light, fluffy, lightweight. Maybe not lightweight. Scratch lightweight off the list. What other things make us feel light? Bubbles. Bubbles make me feel light. What else makes me feel light? Um, photons. Photons make me feel light. You know, photons interacting with the matter of my body, allowing me to experience that sensation of heat or warmth, like standing in the sun. Photons make me feel light. That's a good one. I like that. That's a good science joke. I feel like that's a good joke in the making. Like, um... Let's see. A 300 pound scientist goes to the doctor. Says, Doc, I want to feel light. He says, well, you should probably start working out. And then he was actually a, a photo scientist. Photo? What would be the word? A scientist who does things with a photonics? A photonics major. He was a photonics major. And so instead of working out, or reducing his blood sugar. Instead, he just sat in the sunlight and got skin cancer. Funny. Funny joke. That was a good one, right? Is that all right? All right, that Krogunk. That Krogunk emote makes me think that it was so hilarious that you feel that there is now a pain in your gut that is spreading out to other parts of your body because it was poisonous. Like poison jab. That was Krogunk's thing. Krogunk! And then stab. Like, jab you. Jab, 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 jab. Now you're poisoned. Oh, you're a human? That's no good. We can't put a human... You know what? What's stopping me from throwing a Pokeball at a human? And they just... They're in the Pokeball. And then I take that human in the Pokeball and put them in the Pokemon Center. And then they just, all of their wounds are healed. Poison, gone. Cancer, gone. Mesothelioma, gone. I feel like it must be an issue of ethics, right? I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's over, what, 800 species of Pokemon? And it's totally ethical to squeeze them into this tight space and do whatever magic that it is to heal them completely. But, but a human? Mm -mm. Nope, can't do that. Totally not legal. I blame the government. I blame society for that. But like, but what about like the more recent Pokemon games? Like they absolutely play with the idea of like human plus Pokemon. Like uh, that was, that was um, 
sun and moon, right? The Alolan region? Like, Lusamine at the end, like, like, what the hell? You are now human and beast pokey thing. Whoa, it's scary. But like, was that legal? Probably not. The authorities are definitely questioning her. Maybe she's in this, an asylum right now. We most definitely live in a society. More bacon? Oh, thank you. I'll grab one and then hand back. Yes, I see. Thank you, thank you. I like this. Pepper's like my Anna away from Anna, because Anna's not here. <laughs> right? Anna's not here? Anna, you can't hear me, right, Anna? No, she can't hear me. <laughs> don't tell Anna I said that. I don't know how proud she would be of that. She'd come back and be like, What'd you say about me? I have no replacement! I am the queen! Like, no, she wouldn't react like that. She's not crazy. Or maybe. Maybe she's just crazy enough to stick around for a bit longer. What a, what a, what a lady. What a lady. No, switch my character, I say. Use the swirl. Swirl from afar. Fire ability. Fire, 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 burn. Fire, fire, burn. Fire, fire, burn. Oh, you know what I just realized, too? I didn't change my, uh... I didn't change my just starting thing, either. Well, I am... I have been really bad with this. I have been, like, superiorly bad with that. Wow, I gotta fix that. Whoops. Oh, is my computer frozen? Oh, my, uh, my, uh, stream observation computer. It's, uh, a little crazy. A little crazy crazy. Had to fix that. Yeah. I didn't change my go live notification. Wow, I really gotta, I have to start. Jeez. I gotta start, um, putting a post-it note down to describe my, uh, to remember. I feel so bad. Now, I always feel bad about that, you know? I feel bad because somebody out there is gonna look at their phone and it's gonna say, Cocktail time! And they're gonna come in and they're gonna be like, this isn't just chatting. This is Genshin Impact. Like, and this is this is not the first time I've done this, and I feel bad about it. Uh, let's see. Uh, bosses and quests. Bosses and questing. And then, yeah, it's Genshin time, baby. It's Genshin time, baby. Genshin time, baby. I'll fix that. I fixed that. Uh... And time to start, time to, I will, I will punish myself for that. Lashes. How many lashes? Many lashes. Don't forget to update title plus go live. Because I have forgotten that almost three times in a row. I'm off my ball, guys. I'm off my ball. If there is a ball with which I was standing on, I have fallen off. And now I can't get up. Wait, I have time? Follow the treasure map to the treasure. I... Where's my map? I, I see not... I, I see map. This is map. Map. A map that records the location of treasure. Can I read it? There's nothing there. So... I don't know. This is... There's a chest right there. That's pretty treasury, right? That's treasure-like. Treasure cool. Treasure okay. I don't know. I hope this treasure chest is the one. Ooh, I got some wood. Yeah, you can make some, make some wood over here. Goodness gracious. Needs more wood. I need more wood for So that's the thing. In this game, you can have houses now, right? And you need the wood to create your house. But the houses are apparently inside of, like, these magical teapots. So, like, I guess you're just making, like, furniture or something. Maybe. Oh, I need to, need to do this again. I need some more heals. Oh, come here, you. Just let me hit you with my club. Just let me hit you with my club. All right, so you're dead. Um, there's treasure chest. Is that the treasure chest? Exquisite. Nope. That's not the right treasure chest. Where's the right treasure chest? Uh... The map doesn't tell me. Hmm. No good. No so good at all. What does this say? Can it tell me about the... 
The myriad of mountains of Tianghen are a trove of the thousand treasures, for deep within the rocks, bounteous jade gleams gloriously, yet sinister forces now beset the chasm. Its glorious gems are hidden, and their crimson glow gone. The road to the retrieval of riches is rife with ruin. Perilous is the path to the procurement of precious elixirs. Cool. Wherefore did I immediately proceed to discuss this predicament with all in Yehui Pavilion that they might vote on the fate of mining activities at the chasm? Their verdict later today was that it is inadvisable to continue and all activity should cease immediately. Let it be known to all, as you lust for riches and instead pine for a better tomorrow, be drawn not to the Noctilucus glow, but instead set your gaze on the perfect guidance of fate and time. Well, that was pleasant. But that doesn't tell me where the treasure is. Merely all that told me is, yeah, there's treasure here. Cool. Just find the, tre find the treasure. I'm just going to run around like a moron trying to find whatever this treasure is. There's just chunks. There's chunks of iron everywhere. That's not very treasure-like. Where could the treasure be? Terrible thought about what? So, this bacon grease, it's a pain in the ass to get rid of, right? We could just burn it. You could just burn it. But I thought, what if I fried something in it? What do, what, do, what is in this house to fry? Something bready, maybe something that I already know about. Something bready, something bready to fly, fry? So pizza. I decided to fry a slice of pizza in bacon fat. Pizza. Would you like a slice? I would love to try that. Fried pizza in bacon fat. That sounds deliciously terrible for my arteries. But you know what I say? We're here for a good time. Not a long time. Anna hates that saying, by the way. She's just like, but like, you can't die. Wait, dismantle the monster camp. Wait, where? Is that a thing to do now? There's another quest over here? Oh, hi there, everybody. All right, time to dismantle. This is a thing now. Um, alrighty then. All right. Time to clean up. This is a thing now, I guess. Um, this is also a thing that's happening. I'm not sure if this is in addition to or in place of my current mission with the whole treasure map thing. Well, I'm getting close to the area of the map where I'm not supposed to go. I have to dismantle this camp. And by dismantle, you mean dismantle their bones, dismantle their bodies, kill everyone. That's what you mean by dismantle, right? Of course that's what you mean. Why wouldn't it be? I would stop that. Get some fire in your belly. And in the rest of your body. In your mouth. In your everything. In your, your everything. Oh, goodness. You know what? I actually changed my mind. I don't think I'm going to do that to myself. <laughs> I took a look at that pizza and it's just yeah. like, ooh. Oh, I would love to. Hold on one moment while I, uh... Yeah, I'll put it right here. Oh, my goodness. I gotta, I gotta show you all this. This is... Delectively disgusting. Like there are there are brave people out there who would look at this and be like, "Oh yeah, yeah, I eat that. I eat that immediately." I am not as strong as you are. I do not believe in my arteries. I don't believe in my heart's ability to be able to take something like that. Whatever is responsible for getting rid of all that grease and stuff in my body, I don't believe in that part of me. I don't believe it at all. I have no faith in that part of my body. And I have no faith that this enemy will last much longer. Die. Die that. Anyway. Check this. Check this pizza. Check this. Pizza! Food porn! Greasy. What do you like it from this angle? Za. Za za. Zaza pizza in the bottom of the plates, greasy. Well, that's because it's that's probably because the hands, the hands, right? The hands of the the hands of which touch, touch pizza, then touch plate, then ooh, it's grease. But you know what else is grease? Bacon. Mmm, crunchy. Um. So apparently, there's still more treasure to be found. Um. I don't know. Hey there, treasure hoarder. I'm gonna kill you. I need your drops. 
I need your drops. I need your drops. I need your drops. I need it. I need it. I need it. I need it. I need them good. Stab you a little bit. Stab you a bit more. Hmm. By the way, if you're hearing any background noise, we got the window open because it got so hot over the past couple days. We had to open up a window. I think this is, aside from on Wednesday, this is the second time, or this this is the second time I've worn shorts on camera. Not that you can tell. You can't tell I'm wearing shorts. You can't even tell if I'm wearing pants at all. And honestly, I'd like to keep it that way. Just don't, don't question. Or do question. You know what? No, it's just... I'm a, we were believers in science around here, aren't we? Question everything. Question everything around you. Question the existence of treasure. Question the reason why the treasure map doesn't show a goddamn thing. It just doesn't exist. I think probably I have to... I might have to restart Genshin Impact for it to load up properly, I guess. I don't know why that wouldn't be appearing. That or I Google it. But that's... You know what? That's too easy. It's too easy. Let's swirl it. Yeah, now you're on fire. Yeah, fire, fire, burn. My best part. The best is the best part. When things set on fire and they burn, and they start to melt, they start to char. It's it's the best part, honestly. The best part of burning up is conflagration. The best part of waking. Uh, the best part of burning up is vaporization. The best part of burning up is vaporization. You know, like when the solids of your body turn to gas. Actually, that's sublimation. That's that That's that matter transition. Going from water, to go, going from liquid to vapor, that's vaporization. Going from solid to vapor, that's sublimation. All right, so I didn't do it in time. What now? Achievement, I'm accept the bounty to try again. Oh, that was one of the leeway quests, like, for the bounty. Oh, wowza. Well, it's the first time I failed one of those. <laughs> Good thing we got it on camera. Now it'll be saved forever. Let the world know. I failed. Now the world knows. And I'm okay with that. Hey, there's a Sealy down there. And a Whopper Flower. There's whopper flowers, and there's there's silly spirits, and there's ices, and ice slimes, and stuff, and more stuff, and this looks cute. Lead the way. Show me your treasures. Ooh. Ignore the, the you know, the the freezing hellscape that's uh, currently following me. Hell is freezing over. We don't need to worry about that. Oh, there's a little... Oh, Julius. Geo, 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 geo. Chioculos. We're in Lisha. I don't know if I've ever been to Lisha specifically. Lovely. Well, hello there, that clover boy. And how are you doing this fine, wonderful afternoon? It's 1.30 where I am. That's in the afternoon, that is. That's where I am. That's where I am, indeed. Exquisite chest. I like that. I like things that are exquisite and wonderful and things that are cute and icy and fiery, it seems. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, did you drown? Did you- did you drown? You're- Still alive. Still alive, are you? Oh, I guess, uh, I guess that's alright. Oh, look at- Alright. Floating sword, floating sword, floating- Enemy disappeared. Okay, so, map no work. Enemy disappear. Floating sword. Well, this day is just full of surprises now, isn't it? I'll take that. Thank you. Now I have old Merc's pal. Must be special. I've never seen a sword just disrespect gravity like that. That's, a. Uh, that's pretty intense. Must be one hell of a sword. Where'd the enemy go? There's more enemies? Abyss Mage? Why? I don't like that. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, there's more of you. Oh, there's so much more of you. There is so much more. You thought that was good? Wait till you see all of them. Oh, them. well, it's a. Uh, I can. I can do some. No! Don't freeze me. Don't freeze me. No, don't bubble me either. I don't appreciate any of these. No, come on. No, stop. There we go. Let's do that. Can I at least take one of them down? Please, one of your sword. One of your shields has to go down now. Nope, stop that. 
We're going to this ability. Yep, that's what we're going with. I'm going to get all of you at the same... No, stop! Stop, I had a... I had a shield! I had the shield, damn it. Okay, healing you. I had shield. I had shield. Shield no want to work. Shield no want to work. Not today. Shield no want to work today. Where did I get this? Apple cider? Cool. Mm -mm, cider. Cider for all. Getchen looking like Fortnite. I kind of get that. Except, like, Fortnite's world is changing, changing all the time. And, well, I've never seen floating mages like this in Fortnite. Not me. Stop! Stop hurting me! Okay, let's let's switch. Let's switch up tactics. Oh, she's dead. All right. Yeah, she's dead now. Well, uh, that's unfortunate for everybody involved. Let's do that. Hmm. Do I play GTA? Nah, I don't play GTA. That's never really been my kind of game. That was always one of those games that my mother would tell me when I was a young, young lad. She's like, you don't want to play those games. They're so nasty games. And I was like, I'll do whatever I want, Mom. And then I played it, and I was like, eh, this is okay. I think my favorite part about the GTA-type games are the fact that I can get in the car and drive around, which was very cool before I got my license. Now I have a real license, and I can drive around real cars, and I'm like, wow, this is incredibly boring compared to in the game. Because in GTA cars, I can do whatever the hell I want to, uh, I can slam into other cars. I can steal people's cars. You know, things that I can't do in real life without getting potentially arrested. Back then, you know, I was, I'd just be let off with a warning or something like, Hey, 16-year-old boy, don't be stealing cars again. <laughs> naughty boy, naughty boy. Now I'm 23, and if they see me stealing a car, they're like, <laughs> Yeah, you're going to jail. Oh, welcome to the party, that clover boy. You may not know this, that clover boy. But we're having a party right now. And because I can't force you to wear a party hat. Not that I'd want to. Maybe you're not the party hat kind of person. I will put on a party hat for you. In memory of your arrival to the party. Anyway. <laughs> now that that bit's over. Get back to kicking these guys' asses. Thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. I feel like this is one of those occasions, like, where you got two people, and one holds the door open for the other, and they're just like, after you, and you're like, no, 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 after you, and they're like, no, I insist, after you, like, oh, please, please, no, after you, you've got places to go, and you just keep going back and forth and back and forth. I'm the kind of person who, like, after, like, two rounds back and forth, I'm just like, okay, no problem, and you just walk right in, and then that person holding the door is just like, oh, rude that he didn't wait for me to try to go through the door. Why would he... Why wouldn't he keep going back and forth with me? How dare him? He must not be proper and gentlemanly as me. It's just gotta, it's gotta end somewhere. It's just got to end somewhere. And uh, if it can end with me, if I can be that guy, uh, you all know that guy. We all know that guy. They take the last piece of pizza. They take the last sushi roll. They, uh, they, they, cl they hold the door open for like seven people. And then that guy is the eighth person who's like, 30 feet away, and he's just like, oh, wait for me too, but he starts walking. That guy is also that person who the car stops to let the person cross the road, and he just walks across, like, really, really slowly. I'm that guy. Because if I'm not that guy, who will be? Who will take that last sushi piece? Who will take that last piece of pizza? Who is going to remind people that the pedestrian is the almighty denizen of the streets? Who's gonna remind them of that stuff? I'm that person. I'll remind them. And then that person who stopped for me to let a pedestrian as such as myself cross the road will be able to call him to work and say, Hey, I'm late to work because of a really good reason. I let somebody cross the street and didn't brutally manslaughter them via my vehicle. And then their boss will respond with, Well, you should have planned for that in advance. And then they realize how shitty their job is, quit and do something better with their lives. Or at least that's that's in a perfect world. But we don't we don't live in the GTA world. It's not a perfect world over here. If I wanted to slam my vehicle into a bank and have a bounty that merely goes away if I just walk away from the from the scene of the crime, then that'd be great. But we don't have that. I'll catch up. <laughs> what's that? What's that in my chat? Is that a is that a is that a pog shape in my chat? Oh my goodness. Arp, I didn't realize how pog champy you were. My goodness, how are you today? I didn't realize how pog champy everything was today. It's a, you know why it's so pog champy? I'll show you why it's so pog champy. I'll show you why it's so pog champy. This is why it's so pog champy. We.
We drinking Regal tonight. I'm talking the finest, the finest sanguine. What's the, what's the word? Sanguine, sanguine like blood. Only the finest sanguine of the nation. And by that I mean, it's grenadine and Coca Cola. It's classy. It's it's just classy. That's all it is. It's just class. <laughs> and then in direct contrast, Arizona iced tea. God, what am I into? Oh, there's a lot of stuff I'm into. I don't know. I don't know if you want. Don't. I don't know if you want me to go on that tangent. I'm into a lot of things. Let's see. I'm into. Let's see. Uh, maybe a little more specific. Because I could go. I could go on about all the things I'm into. I'm into music. I'm into cocktails. I'm into video games. I'm into food. I'm into women and perhaps other people of different genders. Nobody really knows at this point. It's a. It's a question for all involved at this point. I'm into a lot of things. But if you ask a more specific question, I may be able to give a more specific answer. Or I could just keep going on like this for a little while. Let's dig deeper. What am I into? Well, I slipped into a pair of shorts this morning. I slipped into a shirt this morning. It fits me rather well. It's got a little heart on it. It's my hackathon heart shirt. It's beautiful. I got into that. I slipped into some slippers. Unicorn slippers. It's good. It's good. I, I slipped into playing Genshin today. I'm doing rather well. I've actually got uh, Anna's off at class right now. It's a Friday. I keep forgetting it's a Friday. And I've actually got a really good buddy of mine over from high school. Pepper's over, hanging on the couch over there. Uh, they were, they popped along. They saw the cocktail stream. They were like, terrifying girl disorder. Oh goodness, you wanna play that later? Oh my god. We were playing some board games earlier. Uh, we were playing this uh, deck building game called Tanta Kuare. It's a deck building game where you filled your deck filled with love and maids. And if that sounds weird to you, you're totally right. And you are absolutely thinking of things the correct way. Uh, the Terrifying Girl Disorder is also about anime grills who forgot who they are and they want to remember who they are, but that's not important. You are asking about the game. I'm doing pretty well. I, I keep, I don't know. I, I, I went into here and I was like, I'm gonna do quests and stuff. And I apparently just failed my first quest. There was a treasure map and it was like, follow the treasure map. And I was like, I can't follow what's not there. There was, it was gone. It was crazy. <laughs> Ooh, tech class. <gasps> that clover boy. Are you also a that clever, the clover tech boy? I like tech stuff. I study engineering, so anything tech is supremely interesting to me. I'm also into tech. Technology, machine learning, electronics. I like that. But uh, I guess you should probably get the class then. Or maybe not. I don't know. I'm not your parents. You can do whatever you want to. I'm sure you're ready to make your own decisions. And I'm over here. Oh, there's a chest down here. Wonderful. But yeah, so I popped in this. I failed a quest. It was one of the it was one of the leeway bounty quests, and it said follow the map. But when I opened up the map, there was nothing there. It was crazy. It was crazy. Should you make your RPI into Open Vault NAS? Well, apparently I don't know as much tech as you do. Or perhaps it's a different type of tech. Because I don't know what any of those words mean. Let's see. I know RPI starts for Rensselaer Polytechnical Institute, which my uh, fiance's younger sister goes to, my future sister-in-law goes to. Open Vault sounds like an open source vaulting program. And NAS, it has 430 megabytes. Nice. 430 RAM, 430 RAMs of megabytes. Nice. That's pretty cool. I don't know what NAS is though. What is NAS? NAS. Like Naz T. Or perhaps not so Naz T. I don't know. Is it disgusting? Is Naz disgusting? Is RPI. RPI Open Vault Naz T? Because that sounds disgusting. 430 megabytes? Disgusting. Too many megabytes. Let's drop that down to like 250. We don't need any more than that. We don't, we don't need more megabytes. Nah, there's always enough med, uh, stuff like that. Network attached storage on a Raspberry Pi. Oh, really? Oh, R Pi. Oh, R Pi, as in Raspberry Pi. I get you. I got one of those. Got a little. Oh. Got a little R Pi W over here. Pretty cute. The thing, uh, I got that R Pi W. Uh, that Raspberry Pi W at the place I used to work at. Somebody completely messed up the soldering with it. So I managed to unsolder everything from it, add new pins to it, and now I I've managed to reinstall the OS onto it, the operating system, but I can't. I can't uh, secure shell into it. It won't let me. It's just unfortunate. I don't really know what's going on. It's an ongoing progress. You've got the V1.2 B+. 
Nice. I'm not an expert on R pies. I'd say I'm mostly a novice, so I don't exactly know what the differences would be. But that stuff is pretty cool. I love that stuff. I mostly play around with... I actually haven't played around a lot with Raspberry Pis. I've played around a lot, like extensively with Arduino projects. Like, I know a lot about Arduino projects. Arduinos, Teensies, Megas, STM32s. Ugh, love that stuff. And I didn't do that on purpose. I didn't, like, go into this field thinking, I want to do Arduinos. I did some freshman year research, and they were like, you're going to do music stuff. And I was like, I love doing music stuff. And they were like, here's an Arduino. I was like, okay, the Arduinos are cool, I guess. Then, my um, my second year, I took a lab class, and they were like, all right, you're going to learn what it means to be a real electrical engineer. Here's an Arduino. I was like, okay, now I know a little bit more about Arduino. Then I took another class that's like, all right, you're going to learn about interfacing computers with physical hardware sensors. And I was like, that sounds super cool. What do I get for that? He's like, here's another Arduino. I was like, son of a bitch. Now I know a lot about Arduinos. Do you pull up a Leonardo in class? I have. I have a Leonardo around here somewhere. I stole it from work. Uh, yeah, I never actually did anything with it. I was just like, all right, cool. This is a Leonardo board. And uh, I have this now. My problem is like, I have all these microcontrollers to play with, but I don't have the projects to use them on. I need I need that motivation for projects, and I, I have I have a couple of friends who are constantly like, we should do this together. Like we could totally do this together, and I'm like we could put an RPI in there, something like that. I have a 3D printer that I've been wanting to attach, like um I think it's OctoPie, so you can monitor the 3D print while it's going, but uh I haven't gotten around to it yet. We got some new better weapons that I can use on Noel and Beto. Wait, which ones? Which new weapons? Honestly, when I, uh, when I started playing with Noel, a friend of mine said the debate club is the one that you want for Noel. And I was like, I'm gonna go with the debate club. And I haven't really changed since then. That's pretty cool. Smart home device? That's a good idea. You know what I have? Actually, another thing that I totally stole from work. I have a Raspberry Pi that actually has, like, a, like, um, it's got Alexa on it. It's Alexa-enabled. It's a, an Alexa-enabled Raspberry Pi board. Or, actually, no, no, no. So, it's a Raspberry Pi connected to an Alexa-enabled thing it's just like it's it's not very pleasant looking so i wouldn't happily like put that in front of my television that's what i got my little google home mini for i have to crack craft them at the blacksmith do you recall which what the name of those items are because i know i can craft i just found out how to make ice spear from dragon spine i gave that to Zhangling because she's the only one who i have with a pole arm spear uh, pole arm not spear and um i think beto may or may not i know there's a sword that i unlocked recently uh, I don't know where where I did that from, though. I don't remember which missing that was. But uh, I'm going to write those down. If you, if you remember the names, like I will write them down. For videos, the Proto-Arc Claymore. All right, I'm going to write that down, actually. Because I am going to forget that. Oh, where's my where's my thing? So this is my, this is my remembering note card today. It's got... What else does it have on it right now? It's got Kush. It's got... Uh... A project idea for something stock-based, uh, an anime called Uma Musume, and now I've got Proto, Arc, Claymore, 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 or Clayless. <laughs> for Beto and for Noel, we've got the White Blind. That sounds really awesome. It's the only two Claymores that you can craft. Oh, seriously? Oh, nice. I guess I gotta get some Claymore materials. See, I, I considered, I considered, like, I was kind of on the fence of whether I wanted to do, like, a stream or not today, because I, got, I you know, got my guest over and whatnot. Feels like it wouldn't be very good host to do that, but honestly, my guest insisted. She was like, you know, do your, do your stream. So I was like, okay. But I was considering just playing some Genshin Impact on my own, but that's the thing that I don't get by playing these games on my own. I don't get all the wonderful bit, tidbits of information that the collective consciousness of the internet can impart upon me, a humble servant of the internet. A humble player of the game. I play for fun. I don't do the research and stuff. I don't try to min-max everything. I just play to enjoy. But if somebody's gonna be like, hey, I got a better option for you, I'll open my ears. Far be it from me to be the one who looks the gift horse in the mouth, so to speak. Not implying that you are, are a horse. Though if you were one, I mean, to each their own. I'm not gonna, you know, I got nothing against horses. Got nothing against horses. Nothing wrong with horses. But if you were one, you know, honestly, if you were one, impressive. You've been typing very well for a horse. 
Clover Boy's not too really into anime-themed games. The game looks okay. Yeah, honestly, I got into this one because a friend of mine, uh, a really good friend of mine, uh, who goes by Final Rhapsody here, Matt, Matt's been on before, was like, you should play MMOs. You should play more games, and Genshin Impact's something that you should play. Oh, where did that sound come from? That was really loud. My uh, Discord sound came up. I'm crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, um... But yeah, he was like, you should totally try this. And I was like, I should totally try this. And I read somewhere that was very similar to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And so I totally feel that way. And I totally got into it. And I mean, don't get me wrong. The whole gotcha aspect of this, like rolling for your characters and stuff, is a little different. I thought I just turned that off. Where is that sound coming from? Okay. Uh, turn sound off. Oh, my Discord sound was coming from one of my computers. It was crazy, crazy, crazy. But, uh, but yeah, I, I like this game. I mean, it's not... Yeah, maybe the anime theme. Actually, I play a lot of anime themed games, come to think of it now. Wow, I didn't realize how many anime games that I play. I also watch anime. Not a lot, though. But, uh... I said I was doing the bounty hunting. So what happened was... I got the bounty. And it said, find the treasure map. So I found the treasure map. And then it said, follow the treasure map. But when I opened up the treasure map, there was... Nothing. There was nothing on the treasure map. I managed to get to the air. Excuse me, the area where the treasure map was... But the map didn't show me anything. It was pretty weird. I'm not really... I'm gonna say I don't need help on that right now. I'm not really focusing on the bounty quest. I'm just happening to do... This quest happened to be something that I was near. I actually found this one, which... I don't remember what quest this was. But I found this one as I was in the area trying to figure out the bounty quest. And so I figured I'd complete this one. What I really want to do is go boss hunting. Because I want to get some... I want to get some ascension materials. That's, that's what I really want to do today. Because, like, I... Yeah, I want to upgrade my... I found last time in one of the dungeons that I was severely under level. I was like, yeah. Get more quests as I level up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And boss time as well. Yeah, you know what? That could be fun. That'd be fun. Let me complete this quest over here. And then, yeah, you want to pop on and do some bosses? I'm down with that. I like that. I like that idea. Manager Quan. What's the situation? Been to every nation. It's full of treasure hoarders. <laughs> the treasure hoarders, if even they dare to go to the chasm, then it probably isn't all that dangerous. Is there anything else? Uh, so there's lots of monsters. All right, then. I'm not going to try to match those treasure hunters in reckless courage. I understand the situation. Please take this as thanks for your help. Thank you, Manager Kwan. Uh, looks like the chasm will remain sealed for a while longer. Couldn't the ministry just send some people down there to clean the place out? At this rate, the Black Cliff Forge isn't going to meet any of its annual quotas. We're going to have to go ask for extensions. Sad boy time. Sorry, Manager Kwan. Yay! I get it! Alright, first, let's see what characters I want to do some ascending on. So, Zhangling could use an ascension. Uh, mostly, mostly on my main team. Noelle could use an ascension, so could Beidou, so could Zhangling, and so could Suk. Okay, everybody needs an ascension. Everybody needs ascension. You require stuff from the Geohypostases. Actually, I don't think I've ever... Okay, I've fought a Geohypostasis once. That was with some other friends of mine. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to level up her to begin with. Need to fight Geohypostases, Electrohypostases, more treasure hoarder stuff. Did I have the other essential materials for Noel? Um, you just need more, um, travel level 40 healer turtles, drop by some. I can craft those too. Yeah, I can craft those as well. I'm not worried about those. I'll craft those afterwards. We also need to fight some Pyro Regis finds. Sweet, fun, and need more of those chili peppers. I can probably, I can probably buy those here. I'm gonna check that. And I need animal hypostasis. So it's hypostasis and then the Registvine, more Whopper flower, stuff like that. Let me take a look around Liwe to see if there are, I can buy any like, um, like those chili peppers and stuff like that. Go check the uh, food place. Food place, food place, food place, food place, food place. Get some of those, get some of those. What are you selling? Give me some food, a new twist, an old classic. One Min Restaurant welcomes you. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Oh, can I, can I actually buy something? Chef Mao. Can I get food to go? Give me some of that. And ingredients, if you got them. You got, got some stuff here? I can buy up to, I can buy up to, only up to, oh my god, more recipes. Sweet! I love new recipes. Use all of it. I spend all my mora on all of these recipes, because I'm like, dude, gotta, gotta make more recipes. Yep, Joey and Chili's, but I can only buy five of them. I can find more of them in there. Every, uh, words. I can find them elsewhere. Need more radishes? <laughs> Let's just buy. <laughs> now that I've got you right where I want you, I'm going to buy all your goods. I'm going to buy all your chocolate. 
New event. New event can buy stuff. Ooh. Which event's going on right now? Is there a new event going on right now? There's definitely, there's definitely something going on. There's always something going on. I'll have to take a look at that. More ham. Sweet. I'm always down for more ham. More crabs. All that stuff. Get all this stuff. I love buying all this stuff. Like, that's the thing. I don't know currently what I need more of for, so I am very inclined to just be like, oh, I can spend it. I'm going to spend it. I'm going to spend that Mora. Get plenty of Mora. Something is going to come by and be like, I want all your Mora. And I'll be like, I have none of it. Let's see. Events. Event menu. Event menu. Event, event, event. What are going on right now? Energy amplifier. And Whoa. The scholar Hosini has been dispatched by the Sumeru Academia de Liwe to retrieve a precious... Irminsul fruit. However, a sudden unexpected situation. What is that? Cool. <laughs> Bless you. And Zhongli's quest too. Hello, Disney Queen. How are you? Energy quest. Can I buy things for that? Confirm. Go to quest. Mr. Melancholy. Oh, so this is quest stuff. 16 days. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pretty nice. Well, okay, so now, should I do boss, or should I do events? Now, oh, now I've got to make a decision here. Well, first let me get all these, put all these recipes into my repertoire. Recipe, recipoire. Repertoire, Yes, lovely. Let's see, where's that, where's that uh, quest sending me anyway? Maybe I'll fight some bosses on the way. Sending me up there. Up there, up there, up there. Where the bosses on the way? Any bosses on the way? Bosses, bosses, bosses. No, not really. Hmm. Yeah, just to unlock the shop. Oh, yeah, because if you go over there, then the shop will become available. All right. Good idea. Yes, because I see that over there. Nice. Do I play CSGO? Missed the ball on that one, too. Nah, I don't play CSGO either. That was one of those games. I have a reason for pretty much all the games that I don't play. I don't play CSGO because that was one of those games. For the same reason I don't play CSGO is the same reason that I don't really play League. It's because back in high school everybody was always playing either CSGO or League, and the, my particular, the people who I was talking to these about would be like, come on, you gotta play League with us. Like, come on, you gotta play CSGO with me. And I'm like, you are asking me so much to play these games. And the more you ask me, the more I really don't want to play them. And at the time, too, I know, like, League was very, um, League was a very long-form game, and I was, at the time, wasn't one of those people to play, like, a game for hours and hours at a time, as you can tell. I do that now all the time. My streams are hours long, so that's no excuse anymore. But I've still kind of been turned off from it. And same thing with CSGO. Oh, I was ruined by hackers anyway. Well, alrighty then. I guess no harm, no foul then. <laughs> I wasn't missing out, out on much. Plus, like, I know too, CSGO was, I think, one of those other games, like, on Steam, you can get, like, collectible items for, and the more you play it, the more collectibles you get, you can trade them for better things, you can sell them for money, which is one of the reasons I used to play Team Fortress 2, but that just got annoying. And I like that game, don't get me wrong. I got a, a couple, another group of friends of mine who was like, we should totally play TF2 sometime. I'm like, sure, just let me know. I like playing the sniper. Sniper's fun. It is really probable, though. No, for sure. Like, if you, that's the thing, though. I suppose when there's money involved in it, somebody's going to try to find a way to cheat the system, and then they put bots in there, the bots get the items, they sell them automatically, and then they just done the other thing. And you can invest the $1 in items and get, like, 30 in return. But I think that's all, like, loot boxes and stuff, though. So, like, essentially, that's the same premise of, like, gambling. Like, yeah, you could put in a dollar. You could put in a penny and make hundreds. But, like, what's the chances, though? Is it profitable in the long run? Probabilistically speaking, is it a good investment? I don't know. I've taken one or two classes on, like, probability theory and whatnot, so I question all things gambling-based. Kind of not gambling? Is it selling? Okay, okay. I was thinking, like, if it was a loot boxes type thing. I'm not sure if you were referring to loot boxes specifically or not, but that was the only conceivable thing that I thought of. But, uh, I'm sure it's not quite gambling. So, uh, thank you for the swift correction. I appreciate that. Like I said, too, I'm not too familiar with CSGO, so I kind of lack the perspective to know exactly where you're coming from. So I'm just kind of try trying to connect the dots. Trying to connect the dots in this big old head of mine. Big old head, like, you know, ego. Big head like big brain, big head like it's all fluff up there. It's just air or um, fluid. And of course I could teleport to the next quest, but 
teleporting and fast traveling takes us so out of the realm of the game and it's oh so many orders of magnitude removed from the i just or i just i just walk i may find new things along the way i usually find like more of the sealies and stuff uh, on the way to wherever i'm going so i like doing that it's a it's a calming experience that's what i like that that's one of the things too i used to be the kind of like when i did play video games i was like i'm in it for the achievements i want to get all the achievements and then after that i have nothing else to do in this game because i have all the achievements right and over the years stopped playing games for quite a while and kind of in my head i was stuck with that idea of if there's nothing to gain then there's no point in me playing this and i i believe that i'm totally incorrect about that i have fun with the game i can relax with it therefore that is reason enough to play it do i play minecraft you hit the nail on the head i do play minecraft but i really don't play vanilla minecraft i play modded minecraft I love modded Minecraft. Modded Minecraft is my favorite Minecraft. There's a lot of things going on there. Hey, look at that! Some balloons! Love those balloons. Gonna get some venti out here. Same. Ooh. I can't configure my party? What are you talking about? I'll configure my party if I want to configure my party. <laughs> crazy, crazy. What kind of mods do you play? I love I love complex mods. I love the the really technical ones, like Greg Tech and whatnot. Well you're kinda you seem pretty techy too. Are you familiar with Greg Tech? Love Greg Tech. RL Craft. Nice, nice, nice. Very cool. All that I love all the, the technical stuff and whatnot. That's that is absolutely my favorite stuff to play. And it, and it mixes with um the particular mod pack that I play is uh, kinda it's kinda techy, it's kinda magic-y, and it's got hard mode recipes for absolutely pretty much everything, except for the ones that I added on later and didn't get to make hard mode. But uh, I, love, I love those things. I spent hours playing those games. Playing that same mod pack. Because I'm always finding that there's more stuff to do. And that's one of those other things. Going back to before, like, finding the motivation to play a game. Like, there are some games, like Minecraft in particular. Or, in my specific case, this particular mod pack that I have. Where you can just kind of... You can make goals for yourself. You can do what... You can make your own, like, achievements that you want to do. Like... If I had to talk about, like, the, the, the modded stuff, it's like, oh, there's always a next voltage level to get to, and I want to get to that voltage level. What can I gain at that voltage level? Well, I can get I can get more materials at this voltage level, or I can go to space at this level, or I can create dimensional, like, going to different dimensions at this level. And I there always seems like there's something higher to do, and I love that. I love games that just continue to give you more. And I guess... One type of game that does that are, like, games with collectibles. And I love collectibles, but I've never been so, uh... But I've never been so, uh, like... Let's see. I I've never been so inclined to get, like, all of the collectibles, so... So, yeah. Did anyone ever ask for the manager? Or, in, in like, in a stream? Yeah. So somebody actually came on once, and they were just, they were just like, Hey... Can you can you help me with my server stuff here? I'm like, well, I mean, we have we have we have tickets, we we have live chats. Like, why are you asking me? I mean, I could totally give you like I can give you personal assistance from here. Nothing work related. I'll catch up. There is a distinct separation between like the work life and all that stuff. But that's happened before. Yeah, people ask for help all the time. People always ask for help and stuff like that. And yeah, and yeah. For those who are wondering too, yeah, I do. I work for a company called Spark Toast. Awesome, they do Minecraft toasting. It's great. Like my, I like Spark Toast. Good people. But yeah, people have asked for people have asked for uh, people have asked for the big guys. I've asked for them before. And sometimes you get a you know, things happen every once. There's always there's always in any service industry there are always things that kind of fall through the cracks of what you expect, and uh, that stuff will happen. I've been using them since July. Nice. I think I've been using them for about. I've been using them for about three years, and I've been working for them since about late January, and I like it. It's good. No company is without their issues, though. There are blips and whatnot, but I'm, I'm like, more of an understanding. I'm not the kind of... I mean, it depends on what mood you get me in, but I'd say overall, like, I'm not the kind of customer to be like, Oh, something bad happened! I hate you guys, because you shouldn't let bad things happen. Like, blips happen. Blips, blips will always happen like that. I mean, there are things that I can... Don't get me wrong, like... Everybody should be prepared for them. 
and whatever the company is should be the most prepared for them, but, like, I should be preparing myself for it, too. Like, uh, like, uh, I suppose in the most extreme case, like, I keep my money in a bank, right? What if the bank goes, they just take my money and run? Well, probably wasn't using a very good bank. So, uh, you know, you take that into consideration and that's what you would choose what kind of bank you'd go for. A bank that would be like, yeah, if you have, like, up to a certain amount of money in the bank, you know, that's basically insured if anything ever happens. Like, it's covered by, like, FDIC or whatever the acronym is. I don't really know. I'm not a finance guy. I would not know. But, uh, that's pretty cool you got your own host. That's awesome. I hope it, uh, hope it works out for you. I wonder, is it, is it good? Is it easy to do? A friend of mine, a friend of mine, too, was like, uh, yo, we could do our own hosting company. And I was like... No, I I can't. I work for a hosting company. I can't like, it's in it's in my contract. I can't like make another bit. Oh my god, I'm like dying over here. Beto, take care of it, please. <laughs> let's uh, let's heal you up. But uh, I can't do that. It's like it's like working for a yoga place, and then quitting the yoga place only to work in up your own only to open up your own yoga studio right across the street. Like there are laws against that. You can't do that. I mean, you can do that, but. Surely the yoga place across the street is going to be like, uh, dude, really? Oh, Shangling's still alive? Sweet. S two sixty-nine dollar deadies. Nice. Dedicated servers for uh, those who may not understand what a deadie is, or uh, perhaps yeah, de dedicated servers. I don't know a lot of server management stuff, so I don't think I'd be able to even start it up on my own anyway. anyway. Plus, like, I don't know. That's a lot of. That that's a lot of trouble. Like. I like, for now, I like being an employee, you know, managerial stuff, seems a little beyond, seems a little beyond for me, perhaps one day, perhaps one day I'll be the manager and making all the big bucks and making all the calls, I don't know, I don't know, not today, I'm very happy to be just a regular employee, some people are like that, some people are like, I am at my desk job, and I don't need to be anything else, good for them, I mean, don't get me wrong, things get, if things get boring, like, I want to change a pace. Something a little more than that. I've always been the kind of person to get bored with things that become, like, too easy. So if the whole daily rigmarole gets, like, day in, day out, the same thing over and over again, I'm going to be like, can I have something more to do? I want more stuff to do. Sorry, I had to eat that last piece of bacon. Tasty, tasty bacon. Tasty, tasty, tasty bacon. I like that. Um, talk to Yingzhu. <laughs> I'm so sorry if, if you could hear the squishing in my mouth. I, um, uh, I don't mean to do that. I promise. I promise I don't mean to do that. Ooh, uh, Reg is fine. I have to fight one of those. I gotta fight one of those for, uh, Ascension Materials. Um... Oh my god, let's do that. Let's do that. Arp, are you still around? You want to pop in for a boss fight? That'd be pretty cool. Let me go. I need that Regis Fine for, um... I need that for... What's what's her face? Uh, for Zhang Ling. Yeah, I'll pop in there. I gotta... I'm gonna take care of... Uh, switch out the party real quick. Yeah. Oh, I can't do that, because currently, uh... Where are you? Nah, you're not there. Silly, silly, silly. Yeah, did I... I'm already friends with you, right? Feel free to just... Pop right on. Feel free to. And then I'll, I'll just do that. I don't remember what the username is, though, but I'm sure... I'm sure whatever pops up will be the right one. Perfect. I'm sure that's the right one. Yes, there we go. <laughs> I don't remember what your name is. I don't have to. It's right there. Thank you for making it easy. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there, was a, there was somebody else who popped on, like, in a previous stream. I was like, I don't know who you are. I don't remember. Oh, right. Noel's dead. Oh, perfect timing. Cool. Let's give you an egg and uh, heal you up. Let's go with. I need to heal you. Do some mint jellies. Jelly, jelly, jelly. Jelly, 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 jelly. Go with some fire res. That's always good. And um, what's your loadout? Who are you going with? Let's see. I think I can see everybody from here, right? Yeah. Got lightning. That. Oh uh, yeah. I like that. I like that combo. I think we get resonance right th like that, don't we? Okay. Yeah. I'm not as expert as you are, so I'm not sure. What, what do you think should be the combination? I don't know. Swirl's really good. Love some swirl. Gotta love that swirl. Swirl's always a good ability. But, uh, alright. 
You know what? Maybe, because Zhongling wouldn't be good against that. You've got Animo, Electro, Electro, Geo. Water, Electric, Cryo. Um, I don't have any high-level Hydro, so I'll go with... I'm always ready. I got Razor. Uh, it, Razor, how high is Razor? Like 40? Hmm. You know what? I can, I can throw Barbara in there, because that'll be good for like a... That'll be alright. I think that'll be good. Because then we can get some heals. I don't know if we'll need the heals, but uh, that might work. Alright. Uh, where is it at? Where are you at? There you are. Let's get her done. Oh, who is it? Is there another enemy up there? Nah, silly, silly. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> no, don't jump over the wall like that. Hello there, Regis Fine. How are you doing? Oh, just Regis Fine. How about you? Doing just fine. Yeah, it'll be all right. I got strong teammates. Very strong teammates. Get some water ability in here. Just to make things fun. Just to make things a little watery. They're just killing them. Just killing them. You're probably... What, what character levels are you at? Probably a lot higher than I am. Ah, simple and easy. Simple and easy. Transa. Cool. Everflame seeds. Pretty good, pretty good. Awesome. Cool, cool. How many did I need for character upgrade? They're like 80. Nice. Very impressive. How much did I need for you? I needed two more. Two more. Actually, how did that... That one thing that I got before, I don't remember what it was called, but it's a circular resin. resin like a little orb thing. I guess I can't use that now because, like, I already used the blossom. But that was the thing. You destroy it. You can hold them with a five, condense it like that. I need to use one of those anyways. I guess you put them on, like, like after the fact. Or before you touch the leyline blossom, and then you would get double from it. That's what I how I would imagine it works. Where's the exit out of here? There we go. Go up that wall over there. Oh, you can craft those too? Oh, nice. Oh, you craft those into... Ah, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Pretty awesome. We'll climb up here and we'll continue my way over to Yingzhu. Come on, get out of here. Come on, Vaminos. Everybody, let's climb. Climbing up the cliffside. It's not particularly difficult. Oh, what's coming up from over... <laughs> What is that coming up? Like special powers. Special little blobs of... You got this. Special little blobs of you got this. Let's just climb like... Yes, yes, there we go. Perfection! Perfection, perfection, perfection. Where are you at? Oh, was there another way to go? Could I have just gone that way? Oh, yeah, there is a... Hmm. Look at that. Ooh, actually, you know what, Arp, while you're here, do you mind helping me with a little puzzle? Because there's a puzzle literally right over here, I think, where, um... Oh, maybe I'm thinking of the wrong one. Well, this is a puzzle to do. Huh. Alrighty then. Pretty cool. Nice! This wasn't the puzzle I was thinking of, but I guess that works out. Slice one of those, and... I'll get, I'll, gra I'll grab this one, and then, um... Come on, get up there. Get up there, get up there, get up there. And I guess, actually, I don't know if I need the assistance for this one. It's one of the ones, it's the puzzles where, like, you need to activate uh, more at once. Oh, yeah, you know what? There it is. Let's just do that, and then I can hit them all at the same time. There we go. Let's take care of those ones. Then take a hit. Take a hit. Take a hit. Take a hit. Oh, that didn't work. Nah, I don't have fish, unfortunately. Oh, wait, oh, hold on, wait a minute. You know what I could do? Instead, I have Electro Mage. Why don't I just use Electro Mage? I could just use Electro Mage. Yeah, Electro Mage. Uh. Oh, right, right, right. Gotta switch for. We just use Electro Mage for that, right? Just use Electro Mage. If you ever want to trade tactics, Why not just use Electro Mage? She's got electric powers. Can I do that if I go far enough? 
I go far enough like that, can I get to him? Nope, that didn't even work at all. Well, what if I go over there like that? Nope. Or I could do that. Like that. And then I'll just do it again. Do it a third time. There we go. That worked. Yeah, that'll work. Modern problems require modern solutions. And let's uh switch out. I don't want to I don't want to accidentally continue walking around with Lissa. She's not as high level as a uh, as she should be. Um, what did I have before? I had Barbara, but I'm gonna switch back to Noel. Like some Noel. But yes, I have something marked on my map in this direction, and I am not quite sure what it is. Oh yeah, it's one of those. It's one of those things. It's the these little things down here. I need to use like the geo or something things to activate all three of these at once. And I don't, I don't seem to have any characters to do that. And I was wondering if you'd be able to assist me with that, just because you know more more people, more bodies, more people, more bodies. And I know, yeah, Albedo will be the one. <laughs> Albedo will the one be the one to do it. Ha! Huh, that totally works. Nice. There we go. Oh, I gotta stand on this again. Am I not? There we go. Perfect. Thank you so much for your assistance on that one. I have yet to get a character that can create like those like little elevator things. So thank you so much. Very much appreciate your assistance on that one. I can take that marker off of my map now. Sometimes teamwork makes the dream work. Let's uh, delete that. Can I have so many pins? I guess I can only have so many pins at once. Shucks. Oh well. Well, I suppose I'll continue moving in the direction of Ying Xiu. Do, 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 do. If you'd like to continue hanging along with me as I walk on over, you're more than welcome to. But if this is a little too, little too boring, I completely understand. So it's not as action-filled as a boss fight would be. Then again, I guess the action of the boss fight was uh, probably a little lacking too. Because you're like, you're like level 80, and I'm like, I think I was only like level 50. I'm catching up though, slowly but surely. I'm catching up the ladder as I slowly make my way. I'm gonna make my way to that rock over there. No, you know what? I got a better idea. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna do this the easy way. I thought maybe I'd spend the time to do this. No. Not today. I'm not gonna spend the time just to walk across. I'll pick up some lotuses along the way. Lotuses are good. Lotuses are good. Lotuses are fine. Lotuses are wonderful. Maybe some fish in the water. Beautiful fish in the water. More lotus. Beautiful. Just making our way around the little lake thing. Making our way around lake. Swimming fast. Faces past. What's up, slime? Oh, yo, is that, um, that's, um, that's the, that's the flaming character. The, the lawyer. The lawyer character, I think, because of the scales. That's one of the new ones, I think, right? She's so cool looking. She's so cool looking. I, I love her character design. I was, uh, I was chitting chatting with the Final Rhapsody, and he was like, yeah, yeah, like, the scales, like, of law and justice, because, like, like, lawyer. I was like, that's so cool. Oh, this one's very... Hmm, that one's very blue. Level 11 24. Nice, nice. Magical crystal chunk. Oh. Interesting. I don't think I've ever found one of those before. One of those special magical ones. That's so cool. I think... What I was meaning to do the last time I played was make a couple of pulls, but I never, I never wound up doing it because I, uh, I forgot. Totally forgot. Anyway, more stuff, more stuff. Let's, uh, climb on up. Do, 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 Among Us. I love that game. I have only played Among Us once, and it was with a good buddy of mine who's currently serving this country. And it was totally memingful, and it was hilarious. I loved it. I can't play that game seriously. I'm not the kind of person who can take things very seriously. So if you're the kind of Among Us players just like, no, 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 we gotta get all the intruders out. We gotta get out all the imposters. Like, you may have a hard time. We, we may have a... Wait, whoa, what was that? Oh my god, you can break the training dubbies too for chest as well? Dude, I'm discovering more and more things. I just found out that you can break those little, uh, little, uh, uh, stone outcroppings. And you can get chests there, too. Crazy. Oh, yo. Nice. Do I like the beams? 
love the memes. The Among Us memes are totally choice. I think... I don't know why... I, I want to say my favorite meme. It's not my favorite meme. It's just the meme that's been stuck in my, my, my head the most. And it's the, like, uh, when the imposter is sus. And, like, anything that includes that, it's funny. <laughs> anything that includes that makes me chuckle. And I like that. That or anytime, anytime anybody does the, I don't know, the sound. <laughs> dun, 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 Like, I love that. Plus that finding its way into literally every video I've ever watched. I feel like every single video I have ever watched has had somebody else be like, oh yeah, I'm just going to add the Among Us theme to it. And it, it makes it funny because of like the, the cultural relevance as of right now. It's Among Us is culturally relevant. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That barrel was totally my fault. But uh, I love that. Honestly, honestly, anything like that. There's a there's a, another fellow streamer of mine who has like sound effects on their stream. I, I haven't played around with them, so I'm not sure if the, the whole dun, 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 thing is on there as a potential sound effect. Like the, you know, like the air rape version of it where it just blasts in your ear. Like, I don't know if that version is on there, but it should. It should be. I'm sure it'd be very popular. You made a Sherex host that is very, very sus. Very, very sus. Very, very sus. Oh, I don't want to cook anything. No, thank you. Very sus. Why so sus? How so sus? How it gets so sus? How server gets so sus? How sus gets so server? Sus server. Sus, sus server. Hello, you. Can I, can I kill you? I don't know. Well, you see, that's the thing, though. You don't know why it's sus, but it is sus. That's exactly what makes it more sus. Isn't, aren't things in this world a little more sus when you can't quite place why they're sus? That's what makes it so sus. You look at something, you're just like, I don't know about this. And because I don't know about this, I think it is very sus. It is very suspicious. I am sus that it is so sus. And that's, I think we've just come full circle. Sus to sus. You know what they say? As, as the Bibble done say, from sus to sus. Sass to ass, sus to sus. Sass to sass. Us to us. Ass to ass, sass to sus. Oh, hey there, you. Oh, you got a little ritual going on here? Um, alright. Alrighty then. Yeah, we'll play your game. Oh, you know what? Oh my god. We're, um, at the tree hotel place. Oh, what are you. Hmm. Investigate. Hey, there's something writing on this plate, but it's barely readable. Paimon feels like it might have some special meaning. Okay. Oh, okay. Alrighty then. That's fine. That's cool. Nice. But, um, this area over here, somewhere around this bridge, is actually another one of those things. It's, it's another one of those, um, two people on the things. If you wouldn't mind helping me out with that as well. I would very much appreciate it. It's a part of a puzzle quest. I've seen a couple of those around. Seen a couple of those around. Ooh. Can't wait to figure that one out. You've got a full dedicated server in your house. What should you do with it? Dude. You do anything with it. That's my... You know what? I'm not the right person to ask for that. And this is why. I have the same... Qu I, I have... I really want to get, like, a server, at, at, like, in my apartment. Like, maybe... Maybe I need some space of my own first before I get a server. But, like, I want it. I want it for many reasons. But none of them are, like, reasons to get the server. It's more like, oh... If I had a server, I guess I would do this. Like, if I had a server, like, I'd run my, I'd run, like, a, a little camera feed to my 3D printer. I'd be able to run things to it remotely. That'd be really awesome. If I had it, perhaps I'd host, you know, like, the, the server that I play on for Minecraft. Maybe I'd host that on my own thing, because I only play on it with a friend of mine. So, there's not really a need for anything, like, too, too, like, specifically secure about it. Um, or, like, a bunch of other, like... Wouldn't it just be nice to have a server to do whatever you want on it? Like, I think that'd be awesome. So, like, yeah. The DL380G5, it's pretty cheap and still okay. Nice. How big is it, though? Because if it's really big, that might be the deal breaker for me. Because, like, don't get me wrong. I love hauling my computers around. Like, like hauling ass, whatever it is. Doesn't matter. But, like, it could be, uh, it could be that rather annoying. And I don't want to have to. Because I'll have to move out of this place eventually. Thank you so much for your assistance, Arp. You are greatly, greatly appreciated. You got yours without the hard drives and the registered ECC. What's a what's an ECC? I don't know about that. Four core Xeons, nice. For like $50, dude, that's awesome. 
Another person, one of the one of the guys I work with, um, he apparently got his server, I think, for around the same price. But I think it was because like some company or whatever was like, or like we don't need this anymore. Or no, no, no. Actually, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of a different friend of mine. Uh, one of my one of my fraternity brothers is that way. His father works for like a service server company, and he was like, they're kind of throwing the server out. You want it? And he's like, yeah. Oh, come on, get that. Uh, take that. No, I want to delete it. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Bulk cheaper. Yes. Yeah, it's awesome. I know, uh, for a while, I thought I actually had some server stuff around here, but as it turns out, it wasn't a server card. It couldn't fit, like, uh, it was, like, one of those, like, insertable slots for one of those, um, uh, like, one of those IBM slot server racks or whatever, but it's just for, it's just for, uh, networking. It's, like, it's just a fancy network card, and I was like, I really don't have a use for this. Geo! There we go. Nice. Another Geoculus! Celebrate! Oh, let me go. Get that. Nope. Oh dear, I want to put a pin down. I want to put a pin down. It's time to consume! So says Ori- You know, just put it there. I'll put it there. It's time to consume. And today on Consume Television, Arizona Iced Tea. I'm always ready. Tasty, I guess. Alright. What else we got? Um, heading on up. Heading on up, hidden, hidden on up, hidden on up, 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 up. You found my pen there, Pepper. It's from the Onward movie. I really like that. I like that movie, the Onward movie. Oh, yo, I, I did the consume. I have to, I have to check that. Thanks for popping in and reminding me to consume things, Oreo. I very much appreciate not only your presence but your reminder. You helped me in more ways than I can even help myself. And sometimes I just can't help myself. Just can't help myself from consuming more. If I get the DLG 380G5, don't use Windows on it. It crashes constantly. Ubuntu's better. Yeah. I don't know. If I would if I ever had a server, I certainly would not be running Windows on it. Certainly not as a main installation. Like for my personal computers, Windows. I just find Windows to be very convenient. If I want more I've had I've had moments where I want more cons like control over what's going on and for that i use linux for it but like i haven't had a need for that in a while and if i really really needed it i could just remote into a server around there but uh that's probably what i would do with that that's not even very loud too. that's a good point too some servers like the fans are insane like they're very annoying i've like i've been to some of the server rooms both at some of the companies i've worked for and at the school that i currently go to it's fucking loud like, there must be, like, soundproofing in those I've never been able to go inside, like, too deeply, but, like, the server room door would be open. I'd be like... Mm. But, like, the glass or, like, whatever they have must, like... It's, it's loud in there. It's like the whir of fans. And if they've got cooling systems and stuff like that, like, the whir of the pumps and... This looks new. Horsetail? Oh, no, I, I apparently have horsetails before. I don't know how many horsetails I have. And inside a few data centers. That's pretty cool. I've never actually been inside of a data center. Is that a Golden Loach. Oh, Loach Pearl. Nice. Uh, north! North we head. Across the mountain. Come on, go, 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 go. I've never actually been inside of it. Actually, you know what? There is a data center here in Philadelphia that I could... I don't know why I'd go inside, but... I suppose I could schedule a visit. That could be fun. That could be super fun. Oh, more horse tails. Nice. What was that? Maybe. It was interesting. I just heard a thump in my apartment, and we were all very confused of what it was. More all thumping. Two of us. Yeah, all two of us. Anna's not getting back for like... Oh, just kidding. <laughs> I said, Anna's not getting back for another half hour. Just that kidding. That literally the perfect climb. Right? Well, actually, the ultrasound stuff didn't take too long. So Rosa did it on me, I did it on her, we did it on us. Anna, tell me about ultrasound stuff. So we did it... Anna's back. Anna, are you pregnant? No, Um. so you can use it for thermal heating. Can it's I talk to you? Oh. Because oh, you're the person. You're the person to talk to. Who's the person to talk to? Uh, there's apparently event stuff going on right now. So, uh, cannot be- Oh, combat's oh, going on. Oh, you were still here. I wasn't sure. Yeah, no, Pepper stuck around for a little bit. Woo, stuck it around, stuck it around, stuck it around. My fiance has returned. Woo. Mothy! Hello, Mothy! Oh, no, there's an ad! I wish I could stop Stop-tron. that. Oh, yeah, I, I have, I have, and I, absolutely your I thought there was a way to be able to turn off ads for like everybody. Apparently, Twitch doesn't let you do that. If I wanted to turn off all the ads, I'd have to play ads during my stream, and that's just annoying. Oh, that's how you do it! 
Wait, did you use the They're talking about the Tonto Quarry game we played yeah, before. Like Made game. Is this is fun, fun, fun. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah. Sure, happy to help. I like them, but keep it's gotten so loud over it's here. Oh, it's always I'm a party. We... No, 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 you were not imposing at all. I'm really commenting like... about it. You see, what I have to do, no matter what is going on, I have to comment upon it. I have to comment about everything. Be people talking in the apartment. There's three people in my apartment. It's awesome. It's like a party in here. There's always a party. Where's my blowhorn? Where's your blowhorn? Yeah. Did you did you cheer, Anna? You cheer! didn't cheer. That's not cheer. I don't have money for you. Cheer, cheer, cheer. I Anna requests the cheer. She's a fiance. She gets it for free. <laughs> that was just terrifying. <laughs> Anyway, that was a dying elephant. Someone's behind me. You're totally right. That's my fiance. She just got home from class. He was working with ultrasound stuff, apparently. It's pretty cool. Oh. And the ad is over. Hello again to you, Mothy. I will say hello twice because ad being stupid and whatnot. And the image host is sus. Now I've unlocked this. Oh my god, there's so much going on. It's crazy. So now I can do this stuff. This chap's rest. Ooh. Go. <gasps> Thank I guess cheered. That means. Wait, why does Anthony have money? That means, yeah. Thank I guess. Why you have money? Anyway. <laughs> anyway. That was that was cool. I'm cool, right? That's totally. Cool. That's yep. that's this is why we do that. Cool. Oh, I see. There's more stuff going on. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Free bit, the free bits from watching ads. Ah, uh, <laughs> my computer won't let me do that for some reason. Mine won't let it do it. Yeah, they're crazy. Oh, oh, chest, chest over, over here, over where? Underwear. <laughs> Get it? Oh, look at that. Thank you, Arp. I appreciate that. I appreciate you all so much. All of you have very, I have various reasons to appreciate every single one of you. I get to talk tech stuff with that Clover boy. Thank I guess is almost my brother-in-law. Malty pops in with this energy, and I, I love that. Arp helps me with Vigi games. It's great. I appreciate all of you. I wish there was like a like a. What if Twitch had like a follower appreciation day? That'd be awesome. Let me talk to you, Hosini. Hosini. Appreciation day on like Thankmas or something. Thankmas. 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 Nice. I just realized why I don't have. Malty's always got energy, and that Clover boy doesn't regret clicking on the stream. It's official. The boy doesn't regret it. Yes. Okay, so how do I make you regret it? Now that you've mentioned that, I'd like to experiment a little. We can run a little experiment about here. How could I make you regret it? Find out more tonight at 8. What's tonight at 8? Uh, nothing's tonight at 8. I was just saying tonight at 8. Unless there could be something tonight at 8. Soul Worker's dying today. Yeah. Game Forge. Something? Another anime game. <laughs> anime game? Another anime game. Plenty of anime games. Anime game, and she may not. Anime game and anime not. <laughs> <laughs> nice pepper. Nice, nice. Okay, so now that I've accomplished this, um, there's apparently a... I can now access this oh, wait, for the no, event menu. That's wonderful. Now I got this... Nope, nope. D this button. Uh, collected... I need some fragments. Unlocks into... Oh, so this, like, this, like, just started. It's coming back with a global launch. It is coming back with a global launch. But, uh, we actually just got working the other day, the, uh, the, the Burning Soul Worker server. So I think what we're gonna do in the interim is probably play on there, and I'm like really excited about it. Hoods Gal comes back better than ever. Do it like man, flight man, scenes. Man, man, becomes manly man, man. Man, man, manly because man, man, manly becomes manly man, man. Yeah, I've actually never played a flight sim. Now that you mention it, I've never played a flight sim before. I've just never had access to something like that. I mean, like there are games where like you can fly planes. Like, have I flown the plane in Fortnite? I have, but I've never played like flight sim. Not specifically. I just uh, I just never had the motivation for it. Like I was I always thought to myself, like, nah, this I don't know if this is the kind of game for me. But I've never tried it. So I'm open to trying anything. I do always appreciate recommendations. If anybody ever has a recommendation, just like literally throw it my way. Doesn't matter what it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, should I get flights in twenty twenty? Ooh. I'm putting that on my list. I have a lips of uh, a lips. I have a list. I have a list for things to Where'd my list go? I had a note card. Where'd it go? Note card, where'd you... Oh, there it is. It's on the floor. That was school. Got it. Um, Love that. You had to run and grab your notes for class, but you're back. Better. You're back and better than ever. I gotta write down flights in 2020. 
flights in 2020. Steam unlocked for free. Well, basically, it's simulated two versions. What is, uh, what's Steam unlocked? Is that, like, every single Steam game for, like, for, like, free? Because I guess it's, like, cracked Steam client. Flight Sim 2020. I understand the purpose of stuff like that. I, for one, am not... I don't really like doing that. Unless I'm, like, for example, if I don't want to yet pay, like, 50 bucks, 50, 60 bucks for a game, I'm totally down with, like, giving myself, like, a free demo for it. But, like, if I were going to play it, like, in any, like, large quantity, I like to throw... I like to chip in money towards the, um... Towards, like, the developers and whatnot. I mean, just... Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like, you know, like, watching... Like, don't get me wrong. I don't feel that way about everything. Like, I watch my anime for free if I can. We like, watch what it I do. Funimation, you idiot. Oh, just kidding. We watch it on Funimation. I so... just paid for that. My deadline is to cut off our subscription. Oh, I'm my like, goodness. I'm in the middle of on there. You can't just cut off my subscription. Mothy, you, you hobbled back with your broken self? I appreciate you trying, but please don't try to the point where you're going to hurt yourself. I can't provide the first aid that you may need from over here. Oh, Anna can't do that either. Anna, no, you can't. I can provide first aid. Can you provide first aid? We can provide first aid instruction. That's all we can I do. Can provide first aid instruction. What uh, ails you? Does your ankle hurt? Cut it off. Does your leg hurt? Cut it off. Does your throat hurt? Probably take an antacid. What'd you say? You're saying you shouldn't cut off an ankle that's hurting? Are there ways to... Fix it otherwise? Yeah, I'm literally. What the hell? No, if your ankle breaks. I've learned something new today. Horses! Horses get turned into glue. Anyway. <laughs> if Blad badly sprained ankle, she didn't feel like putting the giant boot on. Yeah, I don't like those boots. I sprained my ankle once. And I broke my. I, I didn't sprain it. I, I broke. No, I sprained my ankle. Because I was jump roping and hula. I was jump roping and running at the same time and I sprained my ankle. Yeah, it was pretty lame. Pretty lame story. Okay, in the meantime, what do now? Oh, Arp looks like they're fighting something. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a boss to fight. Um, I'm gonna find a boss to fight. That's what we're gonna do. Can't breathe? Just breathe. Dying? Go to the living room. <laughs> Get it? Are you feeling cold? Go to the corner of the room. It's always 90 degrees. <laughs> okay, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go over there and kill you. You're gonna, you're gonna hurt me? Yeah. No. Don't hurt me. Okay, um, notebook. I keep getting distracted because there's so many people here. That's what happens. Okay, notebook. Let's find a boss. Let's find a boss. Let's see. Um, do I need geohypostasis? I know I need the geohypostasis. So let's. Is there another geo registry? Seriously? Or no, we already fought that. So can we fight him again? I don't think we can. Can we? I don't know. Let's just go to a different one. Let's go to... Oh, you know what? They respawn every once in a while, don't they? Ark, do you think the Pyro Registine would be back? Because if so, I think we should do it again. I think we should do it again. If not, maybe Geo... Yeah? Oh, all right then. Well, uh... All right, so we're going to do boss. Boss in time. Bussin. Bussin, boss in time. I'm too old to say that. Let's navigate. It only take a short time to respawn. Really? All right, nice, nice. Mothy, you're leaving me for class. That's totally okay. I think I appreciate you for telling, for dropping in for a little bit, wishing us good luck, and uh, yeah, I'll see you around. See you around there, everybody. Um, okay, adventure notebook. Refocus. Pyro Registine. I'm just gonna, just gonna warp over there. That's what we're gonna do. Things have kind of picked up the pace over here, so that's what we're gonna go with. So, uh, yes. Navigate. Can I? Can I not just uh, warp point? There we go. I'm gonna head over to the warp point, and uh, we're just gonna do that. <laughs> Ignore everything I said before about enjoying the game and relaxing and this, that, and the other thing. Like, don't worry about it. We're going for bosses. We're doing bosses. Do it. Oh no. Hmm. Unfortunate. Could I just go in through there? I maybe. I don't know. I'll just climb up this mountain. Climbing up the mountain. Climbing up the cliff. Down here? Down there? Oh, it's okay. I got it. I'm gonna fly in from above. That's what I'll do it. That's what I'll do. I'm gonna fly in from above. I'm gonna jump on down epically from the ceiling. There we go. Epically from the ceiling. Pow. There we go. Pyro is fine. You didn't even know what you're in for this time. 
You're gonna be in pain. You're gonna be in very much pain. See all that pain that you're in? That's exactly the kind of pain that you should have expected. Now that we're here, together, as a team. Teamwork makes the dream work. Teamwork make it a dream work. Teamwork made dream works. Fact. Therefore, teamwork made Shrek. Alrighty. Sweet! And so long as I get two of those thingamabobs, I got two of the Everflame seeds. Nice! Awesome. Alright, now. Now we're gonna go to the Geo Hypostasis. All the way somewhere else. What are my specs? Uh, my specs are honestly nothing too, too special. I have two different machines. So I have two different machines, one for streaming and one i have one for streaming and it's just a dell latitude e6430 i don't know exactly what's in that computer so i'd say look it up but you know i'm not forcing you to do anything um oh i need to my map needs to be focused on that so that's what i have for the actual streaming side of things um the actual gaming side of things which is actually what genshin impact is being played on right now has a b450 tomahawk max motherboard that's got specs i've got 16 gigs of ram in here some corsair stuff um and a ryzen 3 200 g for graphics i have yet to get a graphics card i'm waiting for graphics cards to become available and affordable so like built like a tank the dell oh yeah it's built like a tank i have no idea how this thing is still this thing is at least five to seven years old and it's still going and i've used it for games like, you have the same one. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know what is up with this. Like, this computer in particular has just been going and going and going. And I just, I love this thing. That used to be my gaming laptop. Actually, I used this as a gaming laptop until recently when Cyberpunk 2077 came out. And I was like, all right, I am going to buy this. And if this computer doesn't run it... I'm building myself a gaming computer. And lo and behold, you know what didn't run Cyberpunk 2077? The Dell Latitude. So I built a new gaming computer for it. And now the Latitude is my streaming computer. Because it's still a great computer. And from it, I can stream in HD. Cool. I like that. Now, there's at least one thing that I cannot do with that, which I need a better computer for. And that is I can't. So when I do like co-streams with people, I can't have my video on the virtual camera and my video being ported to OBS at the same time. It's also very Doesn't work. slow. It's also can be very slow and it, it produces a lot of latency, which I don't I, I don't like, so it's cause a replacement. You've got the Resin 5 2600 and the 1650 Super, nice. I, I honestly was debating between when I bought it, either the Ryzen, like a Ryzen 5 plus the GPU at the time, or just the 3200G, which has the integrated graphics in it. And I thought, you know what, for now, because I'm attempting to budget for Christmas, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the 3200G, because it's got the graphics, and honestly, that's okay. I like that. Let's go with, uh, probably different elements for this one. What are you taking? Looks like you've got Electro. Beto seems to be, oh, look at that! Enemy, enemy, enemy. I'll get it hidden. There we go. There we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You can get one on MSRP. Nice. I can't do that. I can't do that, unfortunately. I wish I could. That'd be nice. I would like to save money on things. You know what would be cool, too? If I could get, like, a GPU on Layaway. Wish I could do that. But there's no GPUs to go around. Let's get it on. Oh, you know what? Let's... I saw you, uh... Saw you switch into Diluke there. So, uh, I will also do Fire Character. Let's bring out, uh... Nope, that's the wrong menu. Wrong menu. Let's go with... Let's take you and replace you with Zhangling. That's not Zhangling. Or Zhangling. It's Zhangling. Perfect. I'm ready to go. Let's do it. Just need Claymore. Just need Claymore. Just need Claymore now. For, uh, for Diluc. Uh, Diluc. 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 Do -loop, do -loop, do -loop, do -loop, do -loop. He owns a winery. Dandelion wine. Sounds wonderful. I know dandelion wine is actually a thing, and I would love to try it one day. I would love to try me some dandelion wine someday. I would love to. 
honestly i like trying i like different types of things if you know in case you are new around here i love cocktails i love alcoholic drinks not because the alcohol them silly because of the complexity that some of these things can have don't get me wrong there's complex juices out there too but there's just doesn't seem to be a market for them so they're incredibly difficult to find and uh, i don't have the resources around me to be able to buy local and buy complex like artisan juices i guess stands pop up every once in a while but like do I think discard nitro is worth it? I say no. I don't I don't think there's a need for that. Everything that Discord Nitro would be able to offer for me, I have like other resources for. For instance, oh your files are too powerful. You can't upload those files here. Like, okay, I have Google Drive. Or I currently have like my school gives me the OneDrive, which I don't even know how much storage is on that thing. It's pretty crazy. Um, but so yeah, I don't need Discord. I'll just share you a Google Drive link. Whatever. Um, for the emotes and stuff, I honestly don't use emotes enough for it to be totally worth it for me to do, like, Nitro for that. So, like, um, yeah. I don't know. You found a glitch to get five terabytes free on one try. <laughs> Dude, nice. I don't even know how many terabytes I have on it. Um, for, um, for the university email that I have. Two basalt fillers. Nice. Nice battle there. Let's see. Let me, let me check to see how much, uh, Noelle needs for the level up. She needs two more, so it'd be cool to do another one. Oh, excuse me. Another one of the guys. Big deal. Beto's good for the fight, too. I can, like, I get really mixed up on the, um, the Geo Elemental master Masteries. The Geo ones are pretty crazy. Oh, you can mount it as a disc drop. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's a way to do that. I feel like I've heard of that before. I don't know how to do it, though, but... Okay. So uh, this is this is what this is what I want to do today. So the rest of my plan for this stream is I want to do like a boss or more, a, a boss or more uh, in addition. So I think uh, if Arp, you want to continue uh, going along with this, I think we'll do the animo hypostasis and then the electro hypostasis, and then after that, I'm gonna call it a day for now, just because yeah, you know, like I said, I got some I got my buddy over here, so I'll make sure I give some splitting some time both ways and whatnot. But I'll be back over the weekend too. So uh, that I think is gonna be the plan. That's gonna be the plan. And I warn people now so that nobody's surprised, because I think that's a thing that I do too often, where I'm just like, Oh! That happened! Alright, we're done. With, like, no warning. And, uh, I, I realize I hate doing that. Oh! There's the hypostasis. Over to Cape Oath. Here we go. And I honestly hate- I honestly hate doing that. Because, like, for all I know, like, somebody walked away for a moment and was just like, I'll be back in, like, five minutes. And then in those five minutes, like, where are you gone? I don't know. I feel- I, I don't know. I feel bad about that. The, uh, the- the performer in me is just like, don't do that to your audience. So I'll try not to. We'll give warning first. Because I never know how long I am streaming for. Like, I just kind of stream until I want to. And honestly, this is one of the shorter ones. One of the shorter ones. It's a little delayed in the day. This, that, and the other thing, you know. But, uh, I mean, it's still, it's still fun. It's totally, it's, to it's worth it every single time if somebody pops on. It is always worth it. Every and don't get me wrong, it's totally worth it every single time even if nobody pops on. So long as I made progress in the game and I enjoyed myself. And I don't usually not enjoy myself, so you know what? Whatever then. Whatever then. I like that. What are you guys playing? I'm curious. It's Istanbul. 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 Awesome. I mean, what a breeze for a sec. Check out the wicked setup we have. I will, I will, in a little bit. Two more bosses. It shouldn't take too long. I promise. I promise. Well, you can watch. Uh, okay, I'll watch. No problem. I'll watch. We can get on the next one. Do I like rap? So, I'm not really, really into rap music, and this is the reason why. It's because, like, I was always surrounded by- it was the same reason I gave before about how, like, you know, people were like, Yo, you should play League, you should play League, you should play CSGO, you should play CSGO. And the more people said that to me, the more I'm like, I just kind of want to enjoy my own thing, if that's okay. And that's why I kind of got- I didn't get into rap. Don't get me wrong. When a rap song comes on, the first thing that I notice is the bass line in the background or whatever beat they've got going. And I, if I can tap my, for lack of a better term, if I can tap my foot to it, I like that song. And I like that good. And another thing that I've been learning into, like, kind of keying into more recently is the fact that the lyrics of a song are, like, that pretty much, that can make the, the lyrics can totally make the song. And there's a lot of rap songs that are a little more, I guess, uncouth. I'm not really into that kind of stuff. I just don't see the point of it. But, like, the, like, there are other stuff, too. Like, there's a couple... I can't name any songs in particular because I don't really listen to them. I can't even name artists in, uh, in particular because I just... I don't have that exposure. But, um... I, I, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? 
Like, I, I don't have the exposure, so I can't even talk about, like, which artists I like the most in rap, because I don't really listen to them. But, like, I want to listen to it more because it's, it's, su it's super, super mainstream, and I'm the kind of guy who previously would be like, oh, that's mainstream. I don't want to, I don't want to be a part of the crowd. And now I'm like, dude, if you can't beat them, like, join them. So, why not? So, uh, that's the state I'm in right now, and I'd like to listen to more of it. I just don't exa- I don't know. I'm almost afraid to get into it, because I'm like, I feel like I've listened to a song and be like, Ah, I don't like this. And I flip the next one, I'm like, eh, I don't like this either. But, like, I just gotta take the time for it. I- I think... The reason I'm not into rap right now is because I haven't taken the time to even get into it. And that's totally my fault. And I- I hope to change that at least someday. I like- I love music. I love music in general, though. It just, it hasn't been one of those things like I've gotten into. Like, and that's the thing too. I don't exactly know what old school rap would be. So in that regard, I have no idea what you're talking about. But like, that's a good thing. Because that just means I have uh, room to learn too. Which is, is good. There's always room for, to learn. If there's, any, if there's any room to learn anything, I love that. If I can learn something from it, perfect. Let's do this. Let's do this move. And I always, I always like the idea of learning something new. So like if you have by the way like like clover boy if you have that clover boy if you have any like suggestions for music that like Could be interesting. I mean you don't really know my preferences at all So it's kind of like a shot in the dark, but it might it might land somewhere close to close to my interest and whatnot So like if you have something if you feel like drop something or whatever I'd, I'll put it on my list of things to listen to or things to at least try to listen to all right Hypostasis electro done. Let's do animo hypostasis Animo hypostasis. I think that's up north somewhere. Yes, you are. To the storm, bearer mountains. Yeah, but I love, I love recommendations. I love all the stuff like that. And of course, there is absolutely no obligation for you to do so. You don't have to if you don't want to. I'm not gonna force you. But it's always appreciated. I just want to make sure that everybody knows that if you've, you, you want to make a recommendation, you want to give some tips. Cool. Dr. Dre is good. He featured himself in a lot of songs that I know of from, like, the early 2000s. Stuff. The stuff that I grew up listening to. I grew up, I was born in 1997, so I grew up listening to early 2000s music, and I like... Dr. Dre definitely, the, like, like, I bet if you name some of his songs, I know them. I definitely do. I just... <laughs> I wouldn't be able to name them myself, because I just, I'm not that familiar with it. That's kind of like, like, I'm not at that, like, I feel like the familiar, the familiarity level would be like, if you're at least barely familiar, you can recognize the song. If you're a little more familiar, you know who the artist of the song is. If you're more familiar, you know the name of the song as well. If you're even more familiar, you can like, say like what album it's on, or what other songs that that artist does, or who featured on the album and stuff of that sort, you know. Party set up. Da -da 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 Let's go Jinyan to Beidou. And let me do quick heals on my... Just kidding. They see, everybody seems okay. Alright, let's get him. You love booting up GTA San Andreas and driving cars while listening to Los Santos Radio. Does that have a lot of, like, Dre stuff on it? Awesome. Oh, hello. No, stop. Get out of there. Ah, I made a boo-boo. Made a boo-boo. Nice, 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 nice. That was another thing, too. Like, um, what is it? A lot of, like, the G... Another thing that I know about GTA that I just don't know particularly about because I, I don't play it too much is, like, the radio stations, the songs. Like, it makes it see, feel so much more, like, enjoyable. And you feel so much more within that universe. That's really cool. Or, like, West Coast Classics on GTA 5. Nice. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Hope you got those ones, and I got this one. Awesome. Any more? Yeah, looks like it's it. Cool. Classy, classy, classy. And then, come on back down for some more. Get some fire, get some fire, get some fire. Come on, come on. Whoops, don't like that. Perfect. Awesome. Uh, seven awesome, awesome, awesome. Get some of that. And now, oh! When you fill your card up, I apparently you actually ran out of resin today. It's the first time I've ever done that. It's great. Nice. I don't think I've ever actually ran out of resin before. We did a lot. We did a lot. That was really, really cool. Gladiator's intoxication. Whoa. Awesome. And that was really, really fun. I really, it was only, you know, short stream today. Like uh, about two hours. Arp, I want to thank you so much for coming around and like you know, helping me out with the 
all the stuff and whatnot with the, the bosses and of course helping me with puzzles as you always do you're always a very much appreciated uh support so i appreciate that that clever boy thanks for popping on by i'm glad you showed up i i, I love I, I appreciate the conversations that we had i like that i learned let's see flying flight sim rap music dr dre i didn't write down dr dre time to write down dr dre i gotta give dr dre, gotta give the dre a second chance it's on my list of things to check out for later. And I do check these things out. I do. Everything that gets mentioned, I wind up checking them out eventually. With that in mind, I'm done for now. I'll probably come back over the weekend. Maybe not with Genshin. I've played a lot of Genshin this week. But maybe I will. There's a new event going on. I had no idea. Oh, and Snoop Dogg. Oh, I love Snoop Dogg. I do like Snoop Dogg. Snoop. Snoop Dogg was on that one uh, Katy Perry album. Like that. California Girls. His rap was cool. I like that. Plus, he's a really chill guy. From what I've been told. Anyway, let's see if there's anybody else I know online right now. Do it to uh, do a raid if there's anybody on. There's nobody that I know on right now that's doing like Genshin and whatnot. Unfortunate. Any raid suggestions? I'm down for it. You DM me on Discord, by the way. Oh, is that you? Oh, that was you. I saw that. Oh, nice. I love the profile picture, by the way. Love the profile picture. Okay, let's... I don't know. Who's on Genshin right now that has less than 10 viewers? Guoba Genshin is online with one viewer. I hope you were speaking English so that the people who are also... Unless anybody here is multilingual, in which case... Do it. Let's try it. We're going for it. We're, it. we're going random. We're going random. Let's do it. Woo! I love to support the smaller people. I was there too. I was there not even that long ago, so... Thank you, everybody, so much for coming around and hanging along with me. I, I really enjoyed it. Come back again next time if you'd like to. Drop a follow if you haven't already. If you haven't already dropped a follow, do so. I'll put on a party hat for you. Or I'll save one for when I pop on next time. And that's the bit. The bit's over. Uh, bye everybody for the raid. So long. Let's say, uh, let's say, uh, Guoba Genshin. Let's say hello. So let's do that. Woot! And for everybody else, following along as all. Oh my god, Kotori was there too. I totally missed that. Bye! Everybody! I really do love you all. Not in like, not in like the I love you weird kind of way, I but I appreciate every single one of you, and I hope to see you again next time. So long, guys, guys, gals, and those who fall in between and beyond. Much love to you all. Bye bye. Guys, gals, and normal people.